Hello Elite Dangerous Commanders, Commander Ricardo here and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So update 12 hit us recently and with any large release there's going to be a hot fix for that release and something that we've typically become accustomed to. Frontier have released update 12.01, let's take a look at what's been addressed in this release. Just in time for the weekend, Hotfix 12.01 for Elite Dangerous was released. And a little note on the portal, around about 4.30 British Standard Time, it was stated that the Hotfix would be released in order to address a number of outstanding issues. Elite Dangerous Odyssey servers will not require extended server downtime, but will momentarily would have been offline, around about quarter to five. And after that, the Hotfix will be available immediately. So what have they fixed? There's been many problems um, with update 12 for different personas of device. What do I mean by that? Well commanders who are running perhaps on a slightly older hardware have had an increase in frame rates and experience within the game. For those, those commanders who have slightly newer hardware, slightly more advanced hardware, better graphics cards, have had some I think catastrophic frame rates and a frame rate experience. It's not all about the frame rate I know, but that's what people generally see when they're playing the game. Now if you've been an Anaconda commander, and indeed have been an Anaconda commander during and after update 12, you'll notice a bit of a difference. You've not been able to get that ship on the ground, no matter how flat it is. Well Frontier have realised this, and they've put a fix in place for that. Uh, there was problems where the Anaconda could not get its landing gear firmly planted on terra firma. Now that's been addressed. They've also put a fix in to address facial hair, which relates to an issue tracker error as well. And they've implemented a fix that's been all about stuttering on approach to planet. I had a look for this and couldn't see that issue at all whatsoever, even with my rig. So I thought, well, okay, I'll try a different rig as well, even on the higher end rig stuttering but some commanders have been experiencing that and a fix has been implemented they've also done a little bit of work to address the shipyard ui soft locking if disable gui effects was set to on this benefits both regular and vr commanders and it's quite interesting with update 12 because the few fixes we've seen on there have referenced vr as well i mean people are hypothesizing is this going to be the return of VR nothing in the patch notes about that nothing in the roadmap about that it's a shame because it's the future and it does give you quite a good immersive experience inside the game commanders are now able to correctly use X square input when using a controller when navigating on foot I don't know what that is. This issue was caused by multiple inputs being allocated to the same control scheme, which would then incorrectly mask one another. And they fixed the general crash and stability fixes that have been occurring throughout the game. Known issues that haven't been addressed. Um, the current high priority known issues are listed below, but as usual, Please remember that these are not the only outstanding issues, and they go along to list these. Unable to access ship functions from the station. Um, it's been reported that ship launch fighters are for failing to attack Thargoids when giving orders to their pilot NPCs. Okay, I haven't been doing any Thargoid combat. I've been doing other combat, and that's been fine. Doing some AFK and getting that old fighter out there. And there's currently an issue where opening the system or galaxy map incorrectly issues a fade to black transition. Crazy. And that must be along with the problems people have been having with frame rates when going to the galaxy map and then coming back out again. So that's obviously where that sort of work has been. Um, commanders have said they haven't been able to access any of the ship functions at the station services screen. Once again, as per the report, commanders are required to leave station services to access the ship functions and go back again. Another commander noted that to check existing missions or inventory or even consult the system galaxy maps without exiting completely from the station UI. So that was update 12.01.
Then, in addition to this hot fix that came out around about five o'clock yesterday, another fix was deployed to address an issue in which typing within a text box failed to override in-game keybinds. People were then prompted to go and restart their game. All good stuff. So, an update to update 12, and then an update to the update to update 12. Cool. Brilliant. What about these performance issues for people who have shelled out for high-end PCs? You know, RTX cards are now hitting the market again, stocks are coming back up, people are going to be upgrading, especially commanders who have decided to make that transition from console over to Elite Dangerous. Let's see a little bit of love that people have gone out and invested to play a game we all love so much. Hey, I've been Ricardo. Look out for more videos in my Elite Dangerous series and more reports on the updates and patches as and when they happen. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.